you know, Bertans only took four threes and I know they were, you know, he had Kawhi Leonard guarding him and that's no easy task, but what, what can you guys do when he's playing 26 to 30 minutes to, to be able to get him more shots? Or is it just one of those nights where it's just not easy? Yeah. I, I mean, I, it was, it was one of those nights. I think they were, they were really locked in on him. They know when he has a, a big shooting night, we're, we're, we're hard to beat. But I think also, I think I got to do a better job of creating more opportunities for him. Uh, I think the combination of those two things could get more. I mean, he, he, he should not only take four shots in 24 minutes, 26 minutes. I take responsibility for that. I need to do a better job of getting him uh, better looks. Um, but tonight, like I said, they were, they were really locked in, keyed on him. Ava. Scott, how much do you guys actually take it from this game? Like what, I guess, what will you pull out um, considering that you've now got to turn around and, and go to Denver, you've only got a day in between? Well, we definitely need to use tomorrow as just total recovery. Uh, just rest, rest our bodies, rest our mind. We had a good run. Uh, we started this trip two and two and one. It could be a great trip if we can you know, somehow master up, uh, just come up, muster up a couple of uh, good start in, in Denver and, and, and play in a good finish, but it's not going to be easy. They're one of the best teams. We played them last last week. Um, but I, the other thing that we look, we're going to play this team again, you know, the last day of the first half of the season. So we can take some things that we did well, and we can take some things that we need to get better with. But the physicality to start the game, they, I think they set the tone and give them credit. They, when you play a team back to back, that's a sign of a, a, a good team. Uh, knowing that jump on a jump on a team that had an overtime game the night before, uh, they did. They did a great job, and they got two good players. I mean, they got an MVP type of player, and they got a high high level uh, all star, and they all and they played extremely well. It, kind of talking about the bad start, how? How wary are you, I guess, since you guys have been winning and have been able to to pull off the comebacks? Is there any concern that like you you don't want to say, okay, guys, we can't like make this a habit here just because we can, you know, end up pulling it out in, in the fourth quarter? No, it's it's a concern. It's something that we're trying to tinker with the lineup. We've done that. We we did some different sets and some different rotations, different schemes, different play calls. Um we just uh, we're just gonna keep working and we're gonna keep fighting. One thing I know about the team, we have resolve. We're gonna have tough. We play with uh, toughness. Uh, tonight we did not start the game the right way, but you know we we it's hard when you when you're getting down. I think we're down 16 points in that first uh, first quarter. It's a, it's always tough to you take a lot of energy out of you just to make it a five point game in the fourth quarter. Fred, do you have another? No, I'm good, Matt. Good. Neil, do you have another? Yeah, Scott, you know, obviously it wasn't a factor in why you guys won or lost tonight, but in the last seven games, Russell is shooting 47.5% from the free throw line. He's a career 80% shooter, only shooting 62% this season. Is that something that you just think will average out eventually, or how do you, how do you see that? Yeah, well, he hasn't, he hasn't shot well. He's getting some good attempts. Uh, he's, he has a routine. He has to just keep working with it. And, and I know, I know it's going to get better. Um, but right now it's not a definitely, it's not, it hasn't been a good run for him lately, uh, but he has to keep shooting him with confidence and it, that turn, he, he works too hard on him. And, I know he's, I know he's definitely a better shooter than the, you know, the high forties, that he has been in the last five or you know, seven games. Ava, one more. Yeah, I'll make it quick, Scott. Um, it, it hasn't seemed, correct me if I'm wrong, it hasn't seemed like to me that your guys have been super, super like overly excited um, with the with the streak. And I mean that in a good way, like everyone's kind of seemed pretty level. Has it seemed like that to you? And is that, I guess, is that surprise? I mean, you guys are a young team. you have been through a lot this season. Like I might expect you guys to be a little bit more um, way, way more up and down than you have been. Yeah. You know, that's, I give our guys a lot of credit. 
they they they've got thrown a lot of stuff at them and a lot of them are not experienced uh, you would think that they wouldn't be experienced to handle all of it but they've all you know they got punched a few times but we just kept fighting back and you know we won you know five games in a row up until tonight and it, I didn't you know our meeting today I didn't see a, like a, a happy team that that we we're just going to go out there and all of a sudden just win games we were still focused on what we do and I like I like that about our group they're pretty they're pretty level-headed they want to play well they want to do well they want to help each other play well and they're disappointed in their know, locker room we're not happy the guys were the guys were pretty disappointed that we didn't we didn't play better and they know individually they knew they can play better and as a team we could have played better and I could have could have done a better job myself hey mo uh Obviously, you know, you guys have talked a lot about, you know, not getting down early, but you guys were able to work yourselves back to within five. What do you think was the difference in the fourth quarter? I mean, we're playing the Clippers. Uh, they're really, really good. You, um, I honestly, I don't really look at the fourth quarter. Um, I kind of look at the first half because you can't let players like that get going. If they feel comfortable, they, uh, they're going to pick you apart. So. Um, yeah, we got to be better in the first half or kind of make it harder them. But again, they're good. Like, they're really, really good. Um, and at full strength and we competed, I'm not trying to get too down on myself uh, on us and keep building. Ava. Mo, I kind of wanted to ask about that, just about kind of everyone's mentality right now. How do you feel like the guys have been handling, obviously, the five-game win streak? Are you wary of getting too excited about that? And then, um, you know, staying level or how has kind of everyone been reacting, I guess, lately? Honestly, I don't care about streaks. I, I, that's some media stuff. Um, sounds good to me, uh, to me that it's superficial because it's not getting me in the playoffs. Um, you, we got to find a way to be consistently good and be able to bounce back from losses. And um, I think everybody knows that. I think we're experienced enough to understand that and not get down on ourselves with the loss. I think that's what we did in the first half of the season a little bit and uh, it cost us. So I think we've learned from that and got to keep building and keep moving forward, man. It's not a perfect league. And that being said, what kind of do you take from this game? Do you spend that much time picking it over with Denver on Thursday now, or do you guys just kind of have to wash it out of the system? Uh, honestly, I mean, there's not much time. Like we're going to Denver tomorrow and then we'll play one of the best teams in the West. So that's the crazy thing about this league. Like if you emotionally just get stuck, if you get caught up in the past, you, you're done. So honestly, if you ask me, uh, clear our heads tomorrow, obviously learn from today and move on and, and get better by it. But can't make the same mistakes over and over again, but at the same time, no, stay positive and um, know that we're a really, really good basketball team. Fred. Hey, Mo, uh, Russell has this ability to make these passes out of double teams and from crazy angles and, and all that. Do you, do you feel like you, you have to be especially aware for passes from him when, when he's got the ball compared to other guards? I mean, he's my point guard. If I want the ball, I better be ready. Um, he's a really good basketball player. He sees the whole court. So, sure, I guess. I mean, yeah, he's my point guard. Is I guess I guess what I'm asking is like, is is there a certain like sort of hyper awareness that ticks on with him compared to other guys because so many of his passes can just kind of like fling from unexpected angles or is it just are you just always at that same mode no matter what and the question is pointless. Uh, I guess yes is the answer. Um, it's, he draws so much attention that you got to be ready. Same with Brad. How do you personally kind of find the line between going over every little thing that didn't go your guys' way tonight and then moving on because you've got the game on Thursday and you've played a ton lately? Um, you know, it's tough, but you got to get your mind ready and get our mind back in the right place. Um, I thought we, we've seen it for first tonight, but we know what it takes to win games, and uh, we didn't do that for 48 minutes tonight. Is that just the biggest thing you guys have to do against Denver moving forward is, is do the consistency for whole game? Yeah, for sure. 
For sure. Yeah. Fred. Hey, Russell. Um, what what have you what have you seen from Mo Wagner this year? He obviously had the big third quarter tonight. What what, what has it been like starting next to him in these six or so games? Uh, he's been good, man. He's been um, his energy is always great. He's, he always has a positive mindset. Um, he's young and he will get better um, and find his spots. Um, he's done a good job of um, you know figuring the game out. He's been good. What, what what do you t what do you tell him like when you talk to him about things to work on? What do you guys talk about? Um, I just try to make the game easy for him, picking 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 spots. Um, tell him to be aggressive because he's a hell of a player. Uh, has great touch. He's very smart. Understands the game, and uh, just try to tell him to be aggressive and make plays uh, because he can do it. Thanks, Russ. Ava. Um, Russ, we've heard from a lot of players who said that at the practice you guys had a couple weeks ago, your leadership was really heard. Brad's leadership was really heard. You've talked about how you've kind of had to finesse your approach this season. What do you feel like finally worked for you personally as a leader that finally kind of got through? Uh, just keep doing what I've been doing. That's it. Just, you know, uh, honestly, I keep that type of stuff internal uh, with our guys on our team. and um, I continue to lead and make sure my voice is heard. Fred, are you good? I actually got one more. Uh, Russ, on those on those catch and goes when you get it on the wing and go straight to the hoop, what's your what's your read like there? Whether you're gonna spot up for for kind of an open catch and shoot or put the ball on the floor? Um, I just read the defense. When when they're sagging off of you though, like it's, you know sometimes you'll spot you'll spot up, other times you'll go to the hoop. Like it's actually, it's easier when you're sagging off because I'm coming full speed at you. I can do what I want. Right, so you can build up your momentum there, you mean? Okay, thanks, Russ. Yeah. Uh, Zach. Hey, Russ, sorry, I have one more question. Um, what do you think about the way Rui's responding to the challenge of being the guy on the team who can defend one through five? Um, I've been thinking he's doing a great job. Um, he's doing a good job of guarding. It's not an easy thing to do, um, but he's done a great job of uh, coming in every night and focusing on, on, on that side and always helping his offense as well. 